Welcome back to Go Stick or Go Home. Uh, this is a bit of a technical service bulletin to uh, share some information that I learned today and I think it is exceptionally valuable. All right, so this is my head. It is an H22 P13 head for my H23A that I am currently putting together. Hello. Well, anyway, sent this to the shop. They resurfaced it by six thousandths. They did a valve job, put the valves in, media blasted the whole head, right? Guess what? That media blasting included the cam journal surface, the bearing, whatever you want to call it, cam caps. Uh, these from factory, if you're not aware, Honda uh, leaves these with a polished finish. It's shiny as a mirror. And at first, when I got this back and I pulled the cover off, I was like, this should not be this way. Um, and I was really concerned that this was ruined and I couldn't use it. Like, oh my God, you know, whatever. And what I found out, I called the shop back uh, this morning. It's it's Monday, by the way. I'm, uh, I have this week and then my semester at school starts again. It's my final semester before I graduate. I am so ready. But anyway, back to the head. Um, I thought this was ruined, right? I thought there was, there was a potential that this was ruined. I was going to have to get these, you know, resurfaced and bored out. And then I'd have to worry about cam bearing clearances and, and whatnot. And like, oh my God, you know, what am I going to do? Well, come to find out, I called that shop back. I asked another shop and then I got referred to another shop by Faria, the valve manufacturer, because I figured they'd be in contact with good people. And then I called the AERA themselves, the Engine Builders Association, or the American Engine Re Rebuilders Association, AERA, okay. Called them and asked. And then my friend also called another shop. And the final verdict of all of this, and this is really valuable information that, that I'm glad I know now, is that as long as they soda blasted this, because there's different media you can use when, you're, when you blast a head in a, in a, in a containment unit, um, as long as they soda blasted this, this is perfectly fine. That is the too long, didn't read verdict on this. Reason being, soda blasting doesn't really take off uh, any material as long as you don't hold it there. But I mean, that's like a pressure washer. If you have a high enough pressure and you hold it on one spot, you can dig a hole in concrete with that if you sit it there long enough, obviously. But if they just cleaned this off and went through it and they used soda, which, by the way, is like baking soda, right? It's water soluble. It washes off. It leaves nothing behind. OK, so as long as they use that, this is perfectly fine because it doesn't really take off any material. And while these don't have a polished surface finish, they're smooth. They're smooth. There's nothing there. This is rougher than this, all right? It's it's definitely noticeable. And that was, uh, that was the verdict I was given. Um, if your cam bearing journals on the cam itself are damaged, or there's scoring, or there's like actually marks or marring or gouging in these cam cap journals, that's a problem. Because that's going, when, when there's a, when you have a piece of metal and it gets divoted, right? There's a section that goes down, and then there's also a section that goes up, okay? That's, that's really the problem, all right? That section that goes down is bad because it can catch particles and hold them because it's basically a, a divot tray in the bearing surface that can hold stuff, which then can scratch the bearing journal. But the other problem is that when you punch into something, there's another edge right there that comes up Right, it just, it doesn't, you displace the metal. So when you press down into it, a bit comes up somewhere else and that creates a high spot and that can also scratch uh, metal as well because it's protruding out of the bearing surface. But uh, either way, the verdict from four shops and the Engine Builders Association themselves is that this is fine as long as it was soda blasted. Now the way that you check 
to see if it was soda blasted or some kind of glass media instead, or sand, God forbid. Um, you get an air spray nozzle, right? And you get one where you can attach one of these little bike ball needles to it. And you take it and you spray out some of the um, threaded holes for where you would mount brackets or like, you know, a water jacket housing or something to to it. And you spray those dead, those uh, dead ended holes out. I think it's non-blind is the word I'm looking for. And if you can feel media, glass media or whatever coming out of those holes and hitting your hand, that's how you know it was glass beaded and you do not want to use this head. All right, um, the, the issue with glass or sand or whatever, and the reason why that's a problem, is that if you do that, right, ports clean out pretty well. You won't really have any of that media in there. What will happen, though, is that it will get caught in the porous material that is the cast aluminum down in the, you know, the oiling jackets and, and that kind of stuff, and it'll get caught down in, like, the holes going into the head for the oiling here and all that. And that is a problem, okay? That's a problem because that's gonna go through the system and get caught somewhere and that's gonna cause real damage. So that's why you don't want someone to use glass or, or please not sand. It's also far more aggressive. So if they do that with this, it, it is actually gonna take material away and then you are going to have to get this essentially refurbished and fixed in order to use this again. But this was soda blasted um, and it's good to go. So if you have a head that has been media blasted and it looks like this and the surfaces on here aren't polished, uh, resurfacing under here, different story. Obviously, they would resurface that. But um, for this, not a problem. This is 100% okay, uh, and I wanted to share this information because that is exceptionally valuable, and I'm sure that will save people a lot of money. So either way, take good care of your engines, guys. Um, if you don't have an answer and you want to know something, call around, ask, you know, look for the authority on, on whatever you're looking for. You know, do some research. It didn't really take me very long, maybe half an hour of my time. And half an hour of my time to prevent losing an entire head, I'll take it. I'll take it in a heartbeat. So either way, take care of your stuff, and I'll catch you next time.